In the beginning of the movie, we see that some mischievous kids are bullying to a boy. He was doing this and was targeting his head by placing an apple, which could have killed his life. But these are very bad boys. Their job was to harass the children weaker than themselves, only then a girl comes here whose name is Ami happens then she shows a picture which had her brother's photo and says like you the boys had killed my brother in the same way. Hearing this, the leader of this gang and the rest of the boys attack the girl, but before this Ami cuts off this boy's hand seeing this, all the boys start running but then Ami reveals that she doesn't have a hand. Seeing this, all the boys attack Ami considering her weak. But then Ami wears his most dangerous weapon, the machine gun, in his severed hand, takes it and starts killing everyone one by one and thus kills everyone is. In the end, Ami goes to the same boy whom she saved from these bad boys. But this boy runs away from there by calling Ami a murderer. After this Ami says that Saksman Saga was also a skull stud and lucky. Yes it da after this selps it am of Ami as shun ha wasa Ami ha plong baska bo with a friend. Then after some time Ami's younger brother Yu comes here. After which both of them start going back home together and during this time something in the name of game from you Ami asks for money and says that I will clean the house every single day if you give me money. Ami was in love with her brother, so for his happiness she gives money from him. After this you meets his friend at night but both of them are enough for one thing or the other. We're upset because Taichi would have also brought money from his mother by asking for money and he had brought this money to someone. Wasn't tucking with scum. Now both of them got some buzz and also brung mana from the sister and mother, gave them to them. There was a boy named Sho. He was the leader of all this. He says that this money is not complete. At this point his boys start beating you and take she. You Sho burn their money because he didn't care about their money. He just enjoyed intimidating and beating people up. Next day see you and Ami at their house. They both lived together his parents had died. Actually their parents had committed suicide because their parents were implicated in the case of false matter. Was going. Because of this he thought it better to commit suicide. Ami asks him how did you get hurt. On this you would say that I had a fight with some boys yesterday. Hearing this, Ami tells you to stay away from fights. On the other hand we see Sho with his father he wanted to make his son a very powerful and cruel ninja, so he also makes him drink his blood so that his son should have the same power as him. But down this family rattles one of his muds because ha. Song thus, Yeji gets very angry because ha has spoiled the family. That's why he was going to punish it. After this, we see Sho's mother Violet, who has killed the same maid, because the rituals of her husband and son had been spoiled. That is, Yuji was the leader of a dangerous plane, he was a mafia and he loved son very much here you come to his house to meet his friend Takeshi goes. But Takeshi's mother asks Yeh to break friendship and tells that Yeh's parents the Wamadas and Yeh should stay away from them. Yu feels very bad to hear this and he says that my parents were not murdered after that Takeshi and you run away from here but after some time on the way the same badass boy i.e. Sho and his spoons find it and start chasing them. Ami also sees that her brother is in danger, that's why she also starts following him. Here those miscreants catch both of them and bring them to an empty building. This show tells the Fitz that where is all the money I asked for. Couldn't give the show a lot of money right now. That's why Sho starts saying wrong things about Yu's sister. Due to which Yu starts hitting on Sho with a lot of anger. But Sho calls Ya and Takshiba throwing them out of his balding. Ami is cut with some bed popla and stats some spavang with her. But Ami used to know self-defense well, taking advantage of which she used to kill these miscreants and ran away from here. Is. But he comes and sees that his brother is now dead. A few days later, Ami reaches Taichi's parents and tells them that the police are taking care of Taichi and you, terming the death as suicide. But I don't think so because you can commit suicide. Surely someone has killed him but Taichi's mother tells him that it is because of your brother. The son has died. Hearing this, Ami understands that she is not going to be of any help here. After this Ami leaves from here. Ami is very sure that her brother cannot commit suicide. Someone must have killed him. Ami comes to the house Yu investigates the things and gets a diary just like that. Is In this Yu clearly wrote that he has been assaulted but some boys are always upset. We do. Now in this diary Ami finds the name of a boy who used to harass you. That's why she reaches the house of a boy named Ryota. Where Rita's father is also her mother. This Ami directly asks Ryota the name of that group and group leader because of which you had died. But Ryota goes to school saying that I am sorry for your brother's death. After this Ryota's father asks Ami if you are sure that my son used to beat up your brother. Tha shows Yu's diary on this which he gets angry seeing. Because they feared that because of Ami his son will go to jail. That's why Ryota's mother and father tried to kill her by telling Yu's mistake. And Ryota's mother then fry Ami's hand in hot oil. Somehow she escapes from both of them and runs away from here. Now at night, Ami sneaks into Ryota's house and asks her the name of the leader of her group, Tell. Otherwise you will lose your life. To save his life, Ryota reveals that Yuji's son is the leader of the show group, had killed your brother. 
Hearing this, Ami slits Raida's throat and after that the light of Raida's house goes off. When the light comes back, Raida's mother finds her son's severed head, only then Ami comes here from behind, also kills Raida's mother. After this, Ami bathes Raida's father in her son's blood. On the other hand we see that everyone is eating food in Ryuji's house but by mistake one the new safe spills the soup there, seeing that Ryuji gets very angry and tells safe. Speaks to bite his finger. But Ryuji's wife was a step ahead of him. She tells Safe to eat by chopping off five fingers of one of his hands and out of fear. Safe cuts his fingers and starts eating. Now Ami reaches here somehow and catches Sho. But Ryuji's men attack him but Ami's head was bloodied. Kills her men again catches Sho and as soon as Sho is about to kill just then, Ryuji kills by throwing his sword towards him which hits Ami's left hand. After this locks Ryuji in a room and tortures him very much. But that didn't cool his anger. That's why he puts Ami's finger with his sword because before killing Ami he kills her. Wanted to make me feel death but Ryuji's wife she tells him to kill Ami. Feather Ryuji does not listen to him after which he starts leaving from there. But then his wife tries to snatch his sword, due to which his sword gets left from his hand. And hits Ami due to which Ami's left hand is cut off. After this Ami starts screaming in pain and faints. After some time Ryuji's man comes to kill Ami. But Ami kills him and freeing herself, she runs away from here. When Ryuji and Violet come to know about this time, then his wife gets very angry with him. On the other hand Ami who was in injured condition reaches Takeshi's parents both of them help Ami as she now felt that her son Takeshi had not committed suicide. When Ami recovers, she tells everything to Takeshi's parents. After this we decide that together we must avenge the death of Takeshi and you. We'll take after that they start their training. Mickey starts training Ami and Mickey's husband sleeps for Ami's severed hand makes a machine gun. A few days later, Mickey learns that Ryuji and his family no longer live here, but from there, run away and go somewhere else. But in the meantime, a man from Ryuji sees him when Mickey comes back home. Ami gets she tells that Ryuji and her family have moved to live somewhere else. But then Sho would come here with some ninja to attack them so that there they can do all the work but Ami and Mickey start fighting them. In the meantime, Sogiru completes that machine gun. After this he throws the machine gun towards Ami and Ami somehow moves the machine gun to her left, puts it in hand. But during this time the master is killed and many pieces of him are broken. Ami now brutally kills all the ninjas one by one but Sho starts running away. With this, Ami kills one of Ryuji's men. On the other hand Ryuji learns about Ami and Mickey so he kills ninja and Raida joins his father so that he can kill all of Ami and Mickey will help here Ami and Mickey torture Ryuji's man and get him to find out about Ryuji's whereabouts. Huh. After this, Ryuji's men takes them to dig Ryuji's new hideout. But then here Ryuji's men come here and attack both of them. Here both Ami and Miki fight together and kill them one by one. Huh. Eventually Ryuji comes to kill Ami himself but Miki saves his life and Ryuji cuts off one of Miki's legs with his weapon, causing heavy bleeding from his leg starts happening. Then he is attacked by one of Ryuji's men. But Miki calmly kills him by quickening the amputated leg in himself. Mari wants. Now after this Ami manages to kill Ryuji with her machine gun. After this, Sho goes to kill his mother, but here Violet was intoxicated and was wearing a different weapon. Steel bra with which she tries to kill Ami but somehow Violet and kills her son. And in this way Ami avenges her brother's death. This movie ends here, so friends, if you like the video, then like and subscribe to the channel.